ever wondered how a server works but don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on expensive enterprise grade hardware so go get yourself a raspberry pi these low price credit card sized computers can run linux which is the operating system that 90% of servers all over the world are running on so it is a very inexpensive way to set up your own linux server you're going to need a few things before setting up the Pi as a server. First thing you need is a micro SD card which will run our Linux operating system. So get a 16GB or a higher capacity SD card. The Pi 4 requires a USB-C power supply. And you're going to need an Ethernet cable to connect your Pi to your home network. Plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the Raspberry Pi and then plug the other end of the ethernet cable into your home router or a switch. Go ahead and plug your SD card into the SD card adapter and then plug the adapter into the computer. Open up your browser and go to ubuntu.com. After the website has finished loading, scroll down to the bottom and click on the server link under the raspberry pi heading. The Ubuntu server image for the Raspberry Pi does not come with the graphical user interface so we will be working with the command line. Click on the link to proceed. Scroll down and we are going to download the Ubuntu server 20.04 long term support version. Go ahead and download the 64 bit version. Go ahead and save the file and then your server image will begin to download ok now our server image has been downloaded we are going to flash this to our SD card and to do that we are going to use Belena HL so go ahead and open up the program go ahead and select flash from file and then select the server image and click open and then we're going to select the target which is the SD card from which our server will boot from this is the 16 gigabyte SD card <clears throat> go and click select and then click on flash it will prompt you for your system password go ahead and enter your password and then Belena HR will install the server image onto the SD card from which our Pi will boot. Once Belena HR has done flashing the server image onto the SD card, we are going to remove the SD card and then plug it into the Raspberry Pi and then we are going to boot into the Raspberry Pi into our new Linux server. So let's proceed. Unplug the SD card adapter from your computer. Insert the newly flashed SD card into the back of the Raspberry Pi. Go ahead and plug the ethernet cable at the back of the Pi and then plug the USB-C power cable and that's it. The Raspberry Pi comes with two HDMI ports but we will not be using it. We will be connecting it remotely via SSH to our Pi. Don't forget to plug the other end of the ethernet cable at the back of your router. After booting up our Raspberry Pi, we are going to connect to it via SSH. To connect via SSH, we need to know our Pi's IP address. To do that, go ahead and open up your browser and go ahead and type your router's IP address. Um, mine over here is 192.168.10.1. Depending on your router, it, your gateway IP could be different. To find out what IP address has been assigned to our Raspberry Pi, we're going to check the DHCP lease list in our router. So go ahead and navigate to your DHCP section. And as you can see over here is our Pi and, it, and here it is the IP address that we're going to use to connect to our Pi. Go ahead and open up your terminal and type SSH followed by the Pi's username which is Ubuntu and type in at the rate and go ahead and type in your IP address. Now when you install, uh, when you do a fresh install and so it asks you for your password which is by default Ubuntu and when you type in Ubuntu it will ask again for your current password which is also Ubuntu. I did a mistake here and typed in a different password so it gave me an authentication error and logged me 
out of the pie so i ssh again into uh, my pie and then i typed in the default password that is ubuntu and then it's asking for your current password which is ubuntu be careful of that and then it will prompt you for your new password uh, make sure your password is more than five characters long and then type in your new password tap it again and it will log you out and then when you ssh again into your uh, pi you will be using your newly set password and here we are you are you are connected to your uh, linux server which is uh, on a raspberry pi and you can see here it is our ip address and it's uh, giving us all sorts of information like temperature memory usage and system load so that's it that's how you set up a server on a raspberry pi that is the cli and we are going to uh, run services on it and we will learn how a linux server works if you learned something new and you like the video please subscribe to the channel like this video and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any upcoming content